Okay, so my project's ending up to take a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. So instead of just taking forever and not posting a new video, I wanted to give a short little update on the progress of my new cube. Now I'm sure if you're watching this, you've seen this one. And this was kind of my prototype build of the LED cube. Um, it's made completely on just a perf board that I bought at Radio Shack using an Atmega 16 microcontroller from Atmel. Um, some capacitors for power filtering. Um, this IC socket here is intended for uh, an RS-232 chip, which I have not tested yet, but which should work. Um, essentially, this is just a really low-level version of what I've been trying to do now. Um, um, my current project, like I said, is to build an 8x8x8 version. This is, this is a 4x4x4. So the new one's going to be about eight times bigger, um, as far as actual resolution goes. So uh, what I've done thus far is this. I've made up my uh, schematic in uh, dip trace. Uh, this is actually the PCB. I made up the schematic in dip trace, and then I went on to this, where I actually have a board layout of what I wanted to do. And so once it looked the way I wanted it to, I got it milled and went over to the uh, milling, ma milling machine in the lab and turned it in to one of these. Now this is just a copper clad board with a whole bunch of lines just cut out, just milled. It's 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 not not the uh, green uh, solder mass board like you would you would see in a computer or something like that. This is a real prototyping setup, but it's exactly what I made on the computer. Uh, now this is actually a messed up uh, version. It's not going to work, but um, again, another update is this one. Now this is a fully populated version of it. Now I'm sure the first thing you'll notice when you look at this board is this part right here. Um, that's actually the power supply for the whole thing. Um, I had it had on the actual layout. Uh, it is this part right up here. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but when I went to go populate it and test it out, uh, it ended up not working. And these these prototyping copper clad boards, once you've soldered something one time, if you try to resolder it again, you're just gonna tear up the traces. So instead of giving myself a humongous headache, I just spent 10 minutes and made it on a simple Radio Shack perf board, prototyping board, and glued it on. And it and it works just, it works fine. Um, again, this is a prototype; doesn't need to look look real pretty. But same thing going on here at Mega 16. Um, I, it, Again, this is a prototype. In, in the final version, I'm probably not going to use an App Mega 16. It was necessary in the original one because of the way it was. I was programming it. Um, in, in this one, it's not going to be nearly as necessary because of the 32 I/O ports this particular microcontroller has available to it. I'm only using about six, so I'll, I'll probably go with something a lot smaller, maybe even a pick. Um, Again, there's the chip for RS-232 support. Hopefully, what that'll allow me to do is once it's programmed, instead of reflashing re the whole microcontroller and reprogramming it every time I want it to do something different, I can just have it connected up to my computer and uh, give it commands on the fly during runtime. Um, now, it's still not connected to the cube, which I do have. It's hidden away. I'll get it in just a second. Um, it's still not connected to the cube, but um, that's kind of a last priority because what I'm working on right now is the code for this thing, which is turning out to be a lot more complicated than I expected it to be. Um, I haven't actually worked too much with this kind of language it's all in C, but it's very assembly-like, and I hate assembly. So, but it, it's coming along. It's coming along. We're, we'll get there. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of the update. 
stop the camera for a second and I'll get the cube. I'm sure you want to see that part. And this is the actual cube of LEDs itself. And I'm sure one of the things you're going to say is, but that's not eight times bigger than the other one. Well, sure, maybe not. But the first ones, um, the first the first cube I made is made from uh, five millimeter LEDs, and the new one is made from three millimeter. The reason I ch chose to do this is, is, first of all, the first one, as you saw in the other video, is blue. Are they're blue LEDs, which um, caused some problems with animations. Uh, specifically that if one LED was on, they're so bright that it looks like the LEDs above it are also on. So the animations aren't as clear as I wanted them to be. I chose to use diffused LEDs in the new one because it'll just be a dot of light instead of this whole bright mess that you can't actually form a picture from. Um, and yes, it is actually eight times bigger. Um, think about it this one is four by four by four four cubed is 64 so there's 64 LEDs in here this one's eight by eight by eight eight cubed is 512 so in this whole mess of LEDs right here there's 512 LEDs uh, not fun this otter I'm, I'm just, it, this was a pain in the butt uh, right now there's there's electrical tape on various spots. This is just marking where I made a few mistakes, didn't connect some wires properly. Things that I have to go back over and fix. Again, it's kind of a low priority as I'm still trying to get the actual control circuitry to work uh, and get that actually done and running. But, so far, it's coming together pretty well. In the end, I'll have this board, if you look, there's headers next to each one of these ICs. Um, in the end, there's going to be a ribbon cable that comes off of each one of those onto another board that has the cube on it and it'll break out from those from those cables to each one of the columns of LEDs and that will control each column and then the, this this IC over here will control which layer is on at any given time um, so I have to CAD another board and mill another board uh, before this thing's going to get up and running, but that's it. It's it's getting there. It's not it's not fake. I'm working on it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep making videos as I get more and more work done. Keep kind of a devlog going. But yeah, there you go.